Welcome, welcome race fans. This is Ron with Big Wizard TV. We're going to do a quick video on getting your car that you've just painted up to trading paints. So we have just finished painting our Lotus 79. We have a black and orange with white accent uh, Lotus. And we'll take a look at iRacing to see what it looks like. And let's see. There's our hot rod car here. And if we want to put that up on uh, um, trading paints, we need to actually copy the file that we created and stick it out there in our trading paints account. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, previous video, I showed you how to paint the car and get everything ready to go. This one, we're just going to do the trading paints piece. So off we go. Trading paints, here we come. Uh, log into your trading paints account. Go to my paints, what am I racing? To the list, find the Lotus, 79. And upload the paint. I should have added this to the other video, but I did not choose new paint. Upload a paint. Select the TGA file. Remember we talked about making a TGA file with your number in it. We have to go to where the paints are, which is Documents, iRacing, Paint, and find the Lotus 79. There's our car with our number on it. That's my number. You'll need to find one with your number, of course. And you open it up. And there it is. And now you have that car, SIM stamp number version, as your car in Trading Paints. There you have it. That's all you need to do. Let's do another one with a um, with a spec map that I did earlier. Let's go ahead and do one more paint. We'll upload another one just to show you another example. We'll go to the Ferrari Evo 2020. This was my season five paint. I have made a new paint. Uh, the new paint uses uh, a spec map, which is a reflective color. So you go to the car. I racing paint Ferrari Evo GT3. And it isn't there. As you can see, I can't find my number. So let's go back to GIMP. Save this. Uh, and orange and black. Black orange. We'll go ahead and save the Lotus 79, and then we'll open the Ferrari that I just did earlier today. It's black and purple. Nope, it's not black and purple. It is red and black. There we go. And there's that one. So file export as. Make sure we got the TGA file selected, which it is. Targa file. We'll go to the location where all the paints are held. Documents, iRacing, paint, and then find the Ferrari. Let's make sure we get the GT3 Evo with the newer one. And let's put my number in, car number 481464, TGA, hit enter. Luckily, my spec map is already there. We can double check it by going to iRacing and select a different car. There we 
There's the new custom paint job I did. You can see it's got a little reflective on the red, which is the spec map. Not a lot of reflective. I didn't want to make it really bright, but anyway, that's the new Ferrari. So then we'll go over to trading paints. And now my car is there. We'll upload the new car, change the paint on trading paints. And this will make it so everybody that's driving, everybody that's using trading paints will get your new paint job. So um, everybody else that's out there can see it. Now I'm using a spec map, which is a MIP file. I go to the same folder and the MIP files there with my number on it. Other people are also using spec maps. That's why you can see other MIP files. All this MIP file does is makes the red a little reflective. You can't see it here, but once you get it out on racetrack, you'll see it. And that is it. That's how you set your paints in training paints. You can pull up old ones. If you have the pro version, you can change them for um, night races or you can put special decal layers over the top of them if you know how to do that. Uh, there's some old ones in there I used to have, but it'll change it for everything unless you tell it different. Um, so you can pick different paint jobs for different types of cars, whether it's a league race or a team race, any of those kinds of things you can pick different paints for. This is where you do it. Thanks again for tuning in. This is Ron with Big Wizard TV saying goodnight.